we don't get to celebrate just yet. You may never have heard of it before. I'm the yeah. YouTube channel called We can go for a walk. Yes, boys. A celebration walk. Celebration video. It's a small milestone, but it's still a milestone. 30,000 subscribers. So I just got this huge bump in subscribers, like 10% over the last three days compared to what I've had over the last four years because of this viral video that I made parroting Jack Conte's amazingly viral video letter to Casey Neistat. That video got like 170,000 views in a week and I think it was on the recommended page of YouTube along with my channel which resulted in a lot of people discovering that I actually have this channel which I've had now for nearly four years. So for those of you who are new, I've been making YouTube videos for over four years now and we've done some pretty ridiculous things. Not that I told anybody. Okay? I think we need more of a momentum run up this time. Yeah! Bring it! Oh yeah, that's nice and crisp. I don't always wax my legs, but when I do, it's with a drone. Right. <laughs> nope! This is for adults only. Some notable videos, squirrel stealing a GoPro. Catching a fish with a drone. There it is, okay. Oh my gosh, did you just see the fish? Just, I got a fish. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Holy crab apples. Running a Spartan race, dressed in a suit, singing Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball. That was classic, one of my first. I came in like a wrecking ball. This is not a video. This is not a look how smart I am video. I've been doing this for a few years. I genuinely don't know what I'm doing. I just know what happened over the course of the last weekend. And if it's new to me, hopefully it'll be new to somebody else and helpful. So I've noticed three spikes in the history of my YouTube channel. The first was in November, 2014. The second was in 2016, I think the summer of 2016. And the third was just last week. The first spike was the first viral video that I ever made. A total fluke of a video. I had just gotten a GoPro. I was experimenting with it. I put a little piece of granola bar on the GoPro, taped it to it, put it on the ground. A squirrel took the GoPro, carried it up a tree. Internet history was made. Six million views in a week. It was the most viral video to ever come out of Quebec. It was licensed to National Geographic. It was featured in IFL Science, Mother Jones, everywhere. I mean, that video was literally everywhere. And at the time, I was a lawyer. I wasn't doing anything YouTube videography-esque. I had like 10 videos. So when I had that first spike and I noticed people started subscribing, I had no real content. I had no real channel. I didn't even have a profile picture or a banner. I had no thumbnails. I had nothing. I just, I was, I was fooling around on YouTube. I had no idea what was going on. Well, it was the first time I realized that you could sort of conceivably make money doing what you love doing. And it was the birth of where the channel has gone since then. But the spike comes, the spike goes. Since that video, I started uploading on a more quasi-regular basis, but really haphazard uploads, no thumbnailing, no tag wording, no descriptions, nothing. I was using it basically as a means of storing videos that I thought were interesting on the internet. The second bump 
have occurred in this very location in 2016. It was another viral video with a squirrel. I actually won a GoPro award for that one. Awesome stuff. This box wasn't here though the last time. The second spike in 2016, I still wasn't uploading videos on a regular basis. I still wasn't putting in proper thumbnails, tag words. I hadn't had any playlists. There was no rhyme or reason to anything that I was doing, so I'm sure that people came to the channel and didn't see very much, just a bunch of random videos, which is pretty much what it is now, but a little more system to it. By the time the third bump comes around, things are totally different. I have transitioned out of commercial litigation into full-time YouTube videography. As of end of, I think it was November 2016, I had been posting a video a day. So, come 2018, I've got a video a day up since 2016. No one really knows who I am or what I'm doing because I still have a relatively unknown channel. But when people start coming, new subscribers to the channel, there's, there's, a thousand videos, there's four years worth of content. As of, I don't know, it was like 2017, I was putting a lot of effort into tag words, titles, and, and, and catchy thumbnails. They're not as good as PewDiePie's, for example, because I don't use Photoshop. By the time people, new subscribers are coming to my channel now, there's a channel to see. But in retrospect, In retrospect, the first two bumps came too early or at a time when I didn't really know what I was doing so that the channel didn't look like anything that was gonna keep anyone subscribed had they just come for the first time. And this is the big difference that I'm noticing this time around versus the previous two times. For a little while I've been posting videos and not even getting any sort of proportionate viewership based on the number of subscribers. I was getting very discouraged. Now, with this new 3,000 new subscribers that I've picked up over the last week, these are very active subscribers. They're seeing that there's daily content and they're engaging with it and hopefully they're gonna stick around because they like it. The reality is that this comes with a big pressure also because if they don't stick around because they don't like it, I'm going to be heartbroken because I put a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of dedication into these daily videos even if they're a lot rougher and a lot cruder than, you know, Casey's. So that's that, it's kind of cool. For those of you who are new, welcome. A, a video, I've been putting up a video a day. Some are long vlogs, some are just 30 second moments because I don't always have time to edit together longer vlogs, but I've been putting up a video a day since November 2016. I said I'm gonna do it for as long as my wife allows me to, as long as I can stay sane, and as long as I can make ends meet and not have to go crawling back on my hands and knees to the practice of commercial litigation. Welcome, enjoy, comment, like, share, subscribe. I'm always open for new suggestions for food because I love doing food videos. Um, that's it, peace out. You saw that, you saw that beginning to end, right? We're the greatest! <laughs> oh, yes, yes!